Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with the last video of my first couple of budgeting videos in the beginning of the month. I'm going to be doing a, quite a bit of things. I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes. Well, actually I have one cash envelope in here and the rest are just wallet dividers that I've had for a really long time. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't even have time to create new cash envelopes for myself, but I definitely wanted to still come on here and stuff my cash wallet dividers just so that I'm all ready for the beginning of the month as well as I will be setting up my monthly spread and I think the last page that I have to set up would be my variable income page which I like to set up right next to my budget spread which if you guys have not seen both this setup as well as my sinking funds um, setup and stuffing my sinking fund system make sure you go ahead and do so these would have been I believe the videos that went up the last couple of days also if you guys are interested in knowing what system i'm using as of now i'm just using this binder that i bought off of michael's it is the recollections brand and it is a little bigger than what i have space for here frame wise but i really like it i talked more in depth about it in my monthly budget video so make sure you go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested and in kind of knowing the details and things like that but let me go ahead and start with I guess they can go ahead and start with setting up the monthly page as well as the variable income spread and then we'll go ahead and move on to stuffing my dividers. Um, that's kind of a little bit out of order than what I typically do. I typically stuff my cash envelopes first but I thought I would just change it up a little bit and then I'm going to take probably the last page and I'll go ahead and set up my variable income spread here and then on the back of that I'm gonna end up setting up my savings tracker which I haven't talked much about because this is of course the beginning of my new um, planner although I'm not 100% sure if I'll be staying in this system I do think it's a really nice system that gives you a lot of freedom with how many pages you can add in your budget planner which I do like about that system um, but I do like coiled bound planners and since i do have if you guys have not seen um, the review for the plum paper planners that i bought i do at least want to start setting up things in that planner for now and kind of see how things go if i have not mentioned yet these monthly inserts are from a shop called just saying printables i love her shop and to my surprise like i mentioned in my last video my stickers fit pretty perfectly let me actually start with the other side because I feel like that's kind of the easier side to start with. So let me actually zoom in. So both my monthly washi kit as well as my expense stickers will fit pretty perfectly in the boxes. So that's how that looks right there if you guys wanted to see. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start from here. perfect okay so i'm gonna leave that there and then i think i am going to lay down the date dots let me do that really quickly all right so the date dots are done and i don't need to use these since these don't have like the past month's days um but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and just put a couple of these scripts. So I'm gonna put my envelope stuffing sticker up top, as well as a bill due because my car payment is due on the first. So let me put car payment due right there. I also have my student loan payment on the 12th here okay so all these are the same size and then this one's a little bit longer which it's fine um so this is going to be for my student loans i do have some student loan payment due stickers here and i have one for my phone bill as well so this is this one and then my phone bill is on the 21st There. 
that will just go right there. Okay, so those are pretty much all of the bills that I have to pay. I don't have credit card debt anymore, so I don't have to mark any of that. So that's great. I kind of want to add this washi here. I don't know why. Especially because th there's no need for any like washi at the bottom. I'm just going to add it right here. kind of cute right it's kind of cute and then I'll just go ahead and use that extra washi right there to cover that that's cute okay so this is pretty much all done yes it's all set up and this is where I will be tracking my expenses with my expense tracking stickers and then the next spread I'll be setting up will be my variable income um, if you guys don't know, I do earn extra income from a few sources. Those would be, of course, my YouTube. Um, I have Share a Sale in here, which is a commission site, as well as I earn income from Patreon. So if you guys are not familiar with my Patreon and what it is that I offer there, I definitely suggest that you join us on there. I honestly have so, so much love for my patrons, and I usually open up a lot more than I typically would here on YouTube about future releases if you have any sticker suggestions I believe for two of the tiers I do give away a free sticker sheet as well as I give exclusive content on there and I go live twice a month so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in I would definitely love to have you guys over on my patreon but for this like I mentioned my variable income sources would be YouTube Share a sale, Patreon, and I will put Etsy on here. I typically put Etsy on here because I use money from my shop to make extra debt payments. So aside from me getting that paycheck every single month that my shop gives to me, I add Etsy on here for the extra amount that I'll be putting towards my debt. So. Those are four of the sources. I might just end up, I think I'm gonna leave one more space. Maybe two, because I think this is the, the month where I might end up getting something from Ebates, which if you guys are interested, Ebates is just a cash back website where you guys can get cash back from online purchases. I will also have a link for that down below if that something you guys are interested in and I think I referred I want to say like two people a couple of months ago and I think the payout is gonna go out this month so I, I'm just gonna skip a line there or two lines and then I'll put this little washi strip and then I'll just do my little spending tracker section to this and in here I will put all of my business expenses, so sticker purchases, new planners that I want to try out, things that I end up showing on camera. All of those things I count as business expenses because they are essentially for my YouTube business and whatnot. So that is pretty much it for my variable income spread. And now let's go ahead and move on to the cash stuffing. All right, so this is the wallet that I've been using this year and where the cash dividers are going to go in. I've talked about this before and I have a lot of change in here, so let me not even move this too much. But that is where I'm going to be putting all the money. So let me take out the cash dividers and I'm not using the coffee one anymore for this month. So I only have five here and then I have a tithe cash envelope that I made a long time ago but I only need that for like once a month, so that's why. So let me go ahead and get all my money ready here. Okay, so um, my cash envelopes will be the first five categories here in my variable expense section. So the first one is groceries well actually let's go ahead and just do tithe off the bat that is 150 so that I will just put in this envelope like 
like so. For groceries, I am doing 230, so I'm gonna do 100. Just move this here. So that is 100, 50, 200, 20, and 230. That I will just put on the side here. Next is eating out. For eating out, I'm doing 130. So let's take so 50, 70, 90, 110, and 130 for eating out. Next is gas. For gas, I am doing $80. So 20, 40, 60, and 80. 80 for gas. Um, for allowance, I'm getting $100. So 50, 70, 90, and 100 towards my allowance. And then last but not least is beauty, which that is getting 160, which should be the rest of this cash here. So we have 50, 100, 20, 50, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, and 60. So 160 towards beauty. So this I will just be putting in my wallet. And with that being said, that is pretty much going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how it is that you feel about the different types of systems and different planners that I've been showing you guys so far. I definitely, like I've mentioned before, I'm trying to branch out and kind of show you guys what else is out there because there's a ton of planner companies and they definitely all deserve some love. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!